What's going on guys? Ryan Muncy here, RyanMuncy.com. Today's question is uh, from another one of my athletes. Um, how do I get rid of my love handles? All right, so I'm going to go into a little bit of detail here on this one. Um, if you're relatively lean, if you're not um, overweight and, uh, you know, if the rest of your body is fairly lean, you're just the last little bit is on your love handles, um, then what we need to do is we need to focus on your insulin sensitivity. Okay. Um, now, if you've got 20, 30, 40 or more pounds of fat to lose, then you don't need to be worrying about just the love handles. You just need to focus on fat loss, pure and simple. Um, but for those guys or girls targeting that last little bit on the love handles, we're going to pay really close attention to insulin sensitivity. Um, one of the biggest, easiest ways to increase uh, your body's sensitivity to insulin is through increasing your physical activity. Now, if you're watching this channel, uh, and you're an athlete, you're a bodybuilder, powerlifter, whatever, then chances are your physical activity is probably pretty high right now. So we're just going to skip right over that one. Um, but basically what you need to know is that when you're moving around, when your muscles are contracting, that they're pulling glucose from your bloodstream um, out of your bloodstream and into your muscles. Okay, So that's going to reduce um, the amount of insulin that's necessary to get that glucose out of your blood. All right? um, but like I said, if you're watching this, you're already active. So we're going to skip right over that one, and we're going to go talk about um, a lower carbohydrate diet. Um, the less carbohydrates you put into your body, the less get turned into glucose, so the less insulin you have to produce to get that glucose out of your blood. Um, now, I'm not saying you have to go on a no-carb diet. I'm not saying that you have to eat 50 or 100 carbs a day. If you're an athlete, if you're a bodybuilder, powerlifter, whatever, you're going to need carbohydrates um, for glycogen storage, for energy, um, for those kind of things. So. Um, don't necessarily go out and cut them all out, but focus on no refined carbohydrates. Don't eat pure sugars. Um, things like oatmeal, sweet potatoes, rice, um, other kinds of potatoes, all of those non-man-made, naturally occurring carbohydrate sources um, are going to be where you need to get the bulk of your carbohydrates uh, from. Okay. Um, and then the last point we're going to talk about is a few supplements um, that can improve your insulin sensitivity. Um, fish oil, cinnamon, and raw um, organic apple cider vinegar. Um, I've used all three of these for four or five years now. Um, cinnamon um, is a great spice. Um, it's going to taste good on a lot of your carbohydrate containing foods, oatmeal, sweet potatoes. Um, I also put it in my shakes and it's going to help increase your body's insulin sensitivity. Um, Raw apple cider vinegar has a ton of benefits. Uh, I've talked about it before. I've written a few blogs about it. Um, but one of the things that it can benefit is insulin sensitivity. Again, um, take a shot of it before every meal. Uh, if that's too hardcore, you can drizzle it on a salad, uh, things like that. You can cook with it. Um, and then the fish oil. I think everybody, no matter what your goal is, should be taking a fish oil. So get you a high quality fish oil. Take anywhere from four to eight grams a day, depending on where your body fat levels are. The more body fat you have, the more fish oil you probably need to be taking. But I would always say take at least four to six, no matter who you are, um, four to six grams per day. Um, so that's it, guys. Hope those questions, uh, hope those answers helped you out with getting rid of those love handles. Um, if you like that, if it helped you out, make sure you subscribe here so you don't miss a single episode of these Q&As. Um, and then check out the link down below, ryanmuncy.com. Head over to my website. If you're new there, if it's your first time, I'm going to hook you up with a free sports nutrition cheat sheet full of awesome information like what you just heard. See you.